Hi, I'm Josh, and let me tell you, this game is exceedingly difficult to fraps. Uh, this is not Kerbal Space Program, no. This is an old classic by the name of Sacrifice. It seems Kerbal Space Program has gone into beta. Uh, while I decide what to do with that, whether to continue my old series or start a new one with mods when those mods are up to scratch, um, I'm going to play this game for the next few days, I think. We'll see. <laughs> um, one moment. Right, meet Eldred. He's the uh, resident wizard. He's the main character. He's a sardonic old bastard. Uh, and we're going to be following on him on his journey to either redemption or absolute power. Or both. Uh, you'll see how things go with uh, the levels and stuff. And every time this game switches maps, uh, <laughs> I will need to restart Fraps. Hence the, as I said before, the... Uh, FPS meter in the top right corner. This prologue is going to be very story heavy. Just stay with Eldred, just listen. Yay, Frap stayed on this time, actually. Okay, that's a graveyard and a half. That's a lot of dead souls floating around. Souls are a game mechanic, they're a resource. We'll see. It has begun. We're too late again, Master. All dead. <laughs> you! I begin to think the cause of this destruction cannot be other than myself. Master. My dark experiments come to a most wicked end. Master! What is it? <laughs> Who's there? That voice. Is that? Yes, Mithras, tis I. It seems you are to be my salvation after all. I am no one's salvation. I am a pawn of doom itself. What? You speak in riddles, sir. I wonder if even my wisdom can decipher them. We should try and see if you can find sense where I have failed. Where to begin? In the realm that was my home, I had devoted my life to study of the arcane. No pursuit was too perilous, no sacrifice too great, until, well, under the many heavens and in the many worlds, there are darker things than men may dream of. By mere good fortune, recent experiments in conjuration had ensnared me this imp. Last time I fought for that one, believe you me. Only through his guidance was I able to travel across the astral void. And that is how I came here. Strange and beautiful world I beheld, but dangerous too, I was certain. And I was friendless and homeless, and so I prayed. Hear me, exalted spirits. Hear me, be you gods or devils, ye who hold dominion here. I am a wizard without a home. I am a wanderer seeking refuge. Wander no more, child. To Elysium come and join the armies of our faithful. Wage righteous battle against the iniquity of the infernal lord. Pyro's factories are not iniquity. Yeah. Do they not befoul all that is pure? 
Are they not the very instrument of desecration? Yet their ruinous encroachment continues unabated. If the sanctity of the Davin Forest is violated, what land lies not in jeopardy? Jeopardy? I bring progress to the forest. There is no progress without justice. What you call justice is bondage to outmoded ways. Pyro's followers will never accept such foolishness. But you have no followers in Davin, Pyro. <laughs> I can fix that. Oh. How dare you? Typical. <laughs> Do not despair, Wanderer. These two paragons of virtue are not the only gods around here. I, for one, can offer you untold knowledge. Such promises. Knowledge, justice, progress. What value hold these without conflict? What is a life devoid of strife? Peaceful? Mm. That's not so bad in my book. I didn't know you could read. Hearing their petty squabbles, my heart lightened. Any of these gods would welcome my talents. The choice would be mine. Well then, let's choose. Uh, this is Young Femship, actually, voice actor. That's the amazing Tim Curry. Uh, this is... What's his face? Somebody familiar? This guy is also familiar. This guy, I don't quite recall. But I do know he has the exact same voice as the... Um, ethereal you rescue from a certain prison in World of Warcraft. It's pretty, pretty fun. Now, here is the gameplay. You go and do a mission for one of these gods, and these gods each have their different spells and abilities they can give you. Uh, let's hear the briefings. I've already made up my mind who I'm going to serve first. Hint, it's going to be the balloon god, Tim Curry. We are Persephone. That's we Persephone. are the essence of life. You have seen us in the sweet virgin, the gentle mother, and the wise crone. Love us, and we shall requite thy love a hundredfold. Would you be a servant of justice and strive against the hand of wickedness? Show us. Carry our message of peace to the quarreling gnomes in Pelennon. She may look like a druid, but she's actually a paladin. What that means is he's a bit more into righteous fury than you might think at first glance. This guy, however, this is a, a walking, talking, well, crawling, talking homage to Earthborn Jim. I am James, god of Earth. You know, rocks and soil and stuff. Some nice gems, too. Oh, it's not all brown and gray, you know. Just mostly. One of my altars has been abandoned, and I'd like to know why. Please go and, and see what you can see. Mm, no. This is like peacekeeping, peacekeeping, politicking. What do you want to do? I am Charno, god of strife, god of slaughter, god of death. Where there is pain, I am there. Where there is suffering, I flourish. Where there is joy... Yes, well, one could hardly have joy without another's suffering, no? Hmm. One of my followers has, how do you say, strayed from the flock. Of course. I need one such as you to gently usher him back into the fold. Okay, that sounds a bit more fun. Let's see what you guys want. I am Pyro, god of fire. They will tell you I am god of destruction and chaos, but that's not really true. Mm -hmm. I am the spark of imagination and the engine of industry. I am the bringer of knowledge and the bearer of light. Okay. I intend to build factories in the Davin Forest which is a haven for antiquated druidic thinking. All who do not flee will be enriched by my triumph. You, not least of all. Very tempting. I would almost go with Pyro on this mission, but... I am Stratos, 
god of air and supreme lord of the heavens, bringer of storms, mover of the firmament. Oh, let's to be honest, shall we in any halfway civilized world? I would be the only god. Hmm. Forget all this other nonsense. If you wish to learn something of your new home, I will send you with Sarah Bella to unravel one of the older mysteries of this place. So, what we have here is... Uh, a god of proactive good, zealotry. A god of peace and passivism and passivism and rock. A god of progress, by any means. And, of course, megalomania and brute force. And then there's Charnel. No, no. I heard the briefing before. Charnel is... Not exactly as decadent as you might think. He's got his head on straight. He's one of the more sane gods beside uh, James. Uh, he relishes in his role as the god of death, though. And his domain is very very dead as well but uh, yeah he does his job properly as for Stratos he's supposed to be the neutral deity one of intellect and wisdom and decision and and air and and this is how he chooses to appear to mortals I don't understand oh well still anyone who dresses himself in the guise of a clown must have something to, to obfuscate. Right? Stratos sent me to Dialia, which had apparently long been under a curse. The curse was never explained to me. The Temple Guardians of Dialia betrayed the Goddess during the War of Purification. After subjecting its inhabitants to her wrath, the Goddess proclaimed that no one could set foot there until a thousand generations had passed. Well... I can see that you need me. I am Cerebella. Stratos sent me to guide you. He would tell you this himself, but the gods cannot appear here, nor can they see what happens here. Mm -hmm. There are also ghosts about. Very unusual. I've taken the liberty of identifying the most frequently haunted locations. Thank you. I wish to speak to these ghosts. Keep me safe. Yes, ma'am. I her I told you this, but Sarah Bella really is the smartest brainiac around. Stratos even refers to her as his protege. Yeesh. Super genius here. Oh, God. Brainiacs think they're the smartest creatures around. Always prattling on about knocking people down with only the power of their minds. Oh, please. Well, their minds may be powerful, but the fact is their bodies are quite frail. Got it. I hope you like it rough. Frost wolves are the fastest creatures around normally, and they can give themselves a boost to sprint even faster for a time. They're not all that tough, however, so to use them effectively, you'll want to find ways to take advantage of their speed. Flank and encircle. Hello. Got it. The mysterious sylphs can go invisible at will. They can't attack while invisible, but that's still a good way to sneak them in for an attack or away from a losing battle. Deadly accurate with their bows, they are best against flyers or using hit and run tactics. Hmm. First things first, we must make a mana lift to give you some mana. Hello. Cavalry's here. It's been like 15 years almost, and this is still eerily prescient of um that that girl, British girl with the two pistols from, uh, what's that game called again? Overwatch, a new Blizzard game. But yeah. This is the RTS uh, spellcaster hybrid mechanic of the game. You have three tabs, each with different spells. You have mana and souls to manage. Now, Cerebella, you, are group six. you heard that? I can assign them into groups. And I'm gonna keep Cerebella. Shut up. I'm going to keep Sarabella in reverse. All these units say a lot of things, which is probably going to fill a lot of dead air, but it's also probably going to be talking over me a lot. You are group one. You are group three. I actually want them to be group three. Melee is going to be group one or two. 
You are group one. Group one. Skirmish formation. On the prowl. I have four souls. I can afford to make one more frost nerf. On the prowl. Thank you. Looking for me? You are group two. And one more self. You are group two. Line formation. Okay. Group three. Suit semicircle formation. Semicircle formation. I do it. Now I build a manolith, which is a giant uh, structure topped off by a crystal, which can send the mana of this mountain to me from anywhere using dot 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 using dot dot dot. Good. Now you need a mana whore to transmit the mana to you. Note the pronunciation H O A R. It does not mean prostitute. It means uh, one of those land servants for the landed gentry to command to boss around. Whore, in that pronunciation, used to be uh, people who used to till the land and who belonged to the land. So this basically means mana slaves. And this is what they are. They're simple little creatures, you know, which should be kept in the back, safe, because they are the... Uh, Receivers of the mana that your manoliths send. Now, if you're too away, too far away from your manoliths, no amount of mana horse can help transfer the mana to your ranged creatures and yourself. Then again, this is basically the tower defense aspect of this game. You need to capture manoliths, and those are the waypoints for your assault and defense. Fun fact: speed up also increases attack speed. If my creatures die, that's not a problem at all. Now again, I can heal them, and I'm also going to be able to zap them with lightning. These are some of the better creatures, uh... Well, there's not not really a better or worse, but these are some After of my more... Fight, oh. It is a good idea to collect the red souls. Okay. Use the convert spell and target a red soul. Or just right-click. But as I wanted to say... Um, the Stratos units are some of my more, more preferred, because Brainiacs have the best range of flyers, even though they are indeed very frail. Uh, Frost Wolves can flank, and Sylphs can go invisible, which is exceedingly efficient. Yeah, yeah. Before I'm going to tag these two souls, I'm actually going to go over here and grab a second mana fount, with the explicit intent to have more mana to use later. Get over here, Cerebella. Investigate. Hmm. This looks like an altar site. Um, this is just basically a tutorial level. Um, there's also like really dedicated tutorials for this game. Yes, ma'am. Um, but this is a tutorial level. This is your altar. Every wizard has their altar. It's their home base. They're well, like in the, like in um, tower defense games, their home base. Analysis complete. Let's look at the next one. Can you understand what the ghosts are saying? What? Oh yes, but it's dreadfully self-involved. Oh, that does sounds very difficult to cope with. <laughs> I need uh, yes. But okay, this is your home base. If your enemy uh, desecrates your altar by sacrificing one of their own minions upon your altar, you're screwed. And you need to interrupt that. Or if you get killed while your altar is being desecrated, that's the end of your game. You lose. Otherwise, you can just respawn when you die. So that's good. Um, this is going to be the end of the episode. I'm going to be uh, seeing you in the next episode, I think.